Hi, my name is Bill Procopio. I'm going to be discussing recording an acoustic instrument, in this case the grand piano. I'm a retired engineer from Boeing Satellite Systems of El Segundo, and I live in Rancho Palos Verdes, California. At the end of the lesson, there will be some examples of recordings. Location and staging of the recording. This is taking place in my living room, uh, which has some complex acoustic issues like hard walls, soft sofas, bookshelves with books, paintings, knickknacks, and also the room opens up into the dining room and then the kitchen, which creates some level of cavernous echoes. The acoustic piano recording signal flow and performance. The piano produces its sound when its strings are struck by a hammer. The vibrations of the string moves air, that sound wave then is picked up by the microphone which converts the sound wave into voltage waves. The voltage waves are sampled by the audio interface into a stream of digital packets. Those packets are then processed by the computer. The important requirements for, uh, that need to be considered are the frequency response and the dynamic response. The piano produces sound from 27 hertz to 16.7 kilohertz. Even though the fundamental of the top note is 4.2 kilohertz, partials bring it up to 16.7 and you don't want to lose them. The dynamic response is 106 dB SPL, so it's pretty loud. The frequency response of the selected microphone is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The dynamic response 131 dB SPL. Microphone setup. Monaural versus stereophonic. A single microphone achieves a monaural single channel or homogeneous signal. No differential sound effect. Sound seems more flat because human hearing is only sensing two dimensions, amplitude and frequency. In the case of stereo or multi-channel, that captures the sound from a piano to render internal or external differences. Sound is more rich because human hearing is sensing at least three dimensions, amplitude, direction, and frequency differentiation. The, the way you set it up is either ambient or direct. Ambient simply meaning that you place the microphones on the outside of the piano, whether that's near or far. It com captures a more composite sound, single mic, or differences, multiple mics, of the sound emanating from the entire piano, rear, sides, front. It's influenced by the surrounding environment, reflections, room ambiance, the amount depending upon the microphone's distance from the piano. In the case of direct recording, You've placed one or more microphones within the piano in very close proximity to the strings to directly capture the brightness of the piano and to differentiate across the piano's frequency spectrum. The microphone is usually set about 8 to 12 inches above the strings and 8 inches back from the hammers. In the case of stereophonic, an example is one microphone placed above the bass strings and the other microphone placed above the treble strings. For a monaural example, you might place the microphone in the center above the middle strings. Direct recording levels are high SPL and are minimally influenced by ambient room effects. Equipment operation. Configure the microphones as appropriate. In the case of the 141s, you can select attenuation settings, low frequency response curves, and polar pattern. Then place the microphones into position in preparation for recording. While the audio interface, in this case the 4 Pre, is off, connect the microphones via the XLR cables. Connect the 4 Pre via USB to the computer. Now turn on the 4 Pre, reduce the channel gains, trim to zero, turn on the phantom power for condenser mics, identify the loudest expected plane of the piano while setting the trim. So you establish the gain to a level which is always comfortable below the red to uh, eliminate clipping and saturation. The 4 Pre has the ability to conveniently control and memorize the setup from the computer via supplied software. Then reverse the process when deconfiguring. Trim channel gain to zero, phantom power off, 4 Pre off, microphone disconnect. 